a few weeks ago, I taught you how to manipulate iMovie and make a square video so that you can share square videos on your Facebook page and your Instagram page and wherever else a square video might perform well with iMovie. But if you watch that, you know that it required a lot of cropping and a lot of workarounds and it just isn't the best system in the world for doing this square process. So today I'm going to take you through how to do this square video process in Premiere Pro seamlessly and crazy, crazy easily. So if you have the Adobe Suite or want to get the Adobe Creative Suite, you have all the tools you need to do it. Welcome back to Two Minute Tip Tuesday with me, Jessica, where I give you two minute tips to help you improve your YouTube channel so you can grow it to help grow your business. Like I said a minute ago, I have actually done a how to do a square video post before on another Two Minute Tip Tuesday, but I wanna teach you how to do it in Premiere Pro because it's crazy easy and I feel like I'm not doing my job as someone you look up to or whatever if I don't give you this fun tutorial. So let's get the party started and show you how to do a square movie in Premiere Pro. All right, to get started, you want to go ahead and drag in your media. So your videos and everything that you'll need. Now, what I normally do here is I will go ahead and edit my video and have it ready and export it um, so I can publish it to YouTube. And then I take that finished video to create my square one. That way I don't have to re-add titles and things like that if I want to do that on the square video as well. So drag in the file you want into your media tab here. And then you'll actually have to drag it on over to the sequence before it'll give us the settings to change everything to a square. Now, once you have a sequence ready here, even if it's just something super raw or whatever, then you can do your changes. So you want to go up to the top and I know it's just out of your camera shot. I'm sorry, but it's sequence. It's the option up on the top. It's sequence and sequence settings. It's literally the first thing you'll see. Now from here, once you pull up sequence settings, you'll see the frame size here is 1920 by 1080. I just changed that to 1920 by 1920 and hit okay. And it'll tell you that the everything will have to be changed and you just wanna hit okay. So now it automatically dumps your video into the middle of the canvas. Now, if you wanna change the background here from anything but black, you will hit new item. And we're actually going with color matte, again, straight out of your screen, I'm sorry. And you'll just hit okay there. And then you'll pick the color you want the matte to be and create it. Now it goes over here. So you'll actually want to drag it underneath this video file because you want it to be underneath and not over top of. So you'll need to separate your video and audio files just a little bit. So you have another little video that starts with a V here, little video column. So drag the color mat there and now there's that. And you can add text and titles and everything just like normal. And from there you just file export media just like normal and it exports the size you created it. So crazy easy. If you wanted to make your video take up the entire square instead of having the screen on the top and the bottom, you click on the video and make sure you have your um, editing here open or effects open and then you will scale it and then you can change the position. So I'm in the middle or I'm on the top or the bottom or whatever. So I can scale, you can do the same thing to go smaller or whatever you need to do. I just, I feel like every time I use Premiere, it pays for itself because I learn, it, it makes things so much easier that weren't easy on iMovie or weren't easy on those other programs I was using. So it is well worth it to me. And that is one of the reasons why because of how easy the square video is. So if you don't wanna miss another Two Minute Tip Tuesday with me, make sure you hit subscribe so you can come back every single Tuesday and learn some mo. Now also, keep in mind that I publish videos on Monday and Thursday as well. They're just not limited to two minutes because I talk too much.
And until next time, bye.